Today is a travel day and we've got someplace new to show you. We're Cindy and Eddie and this is Squeeze the Day. to the train station this morning. We are leaving Chiang Mai, headed over towards a smaller town. We're taking the train there. This part of our series of Thailand is going to be hitting up a bunch of smaller towns that not a lot of people talk about. We're really excited to go to them because you don't see a whole lot of these villages and towns on YouTube. So we're kind of paving a different kind of path. We're really excited to check them out and share this adventure with you. Before we left, we saw this beautiful sunrise and decided we wanted to walk to the train station because it was a short distance and we could enjoy it. Along the way, we saw a couple of places like this. We can stop and grab some food. We just haven't decided where we want to go yet. We can also grab some breakfast at the train station, so we're not going to go hungry and we're kind of going at a casual pace. We made it. They have restrooms, a place to grab some snacks, sit down, relax, wait for the train. They even have a VIP section right over there. You know, our favorite are definitely these bonds. So we're going with those. Now that we've had a bite to eat, let's go exploring. Leave a comment below if you know what this is a model of. I'll give you a clue. It's not the current train station we're at. If you're traveling with kids, you can actually come in here, bring your kids in, sit down, relax, and let them run around in this little square. Along the train tracks, they have places to sit, as well as a couple other places that sell snacks. And then way down there, it looks like they have clothing. They're over there washing the train. Literally scrubbing it. We're waiting for the 9.30 train, which gives us about 20 minutes before they actually get here and start loading up. And here comes our train. What is it about trains that inspires the romantic ride through countrysides like nothing else in this world could? We haven't even started moving yet, but our hearts are beating in anticipation of the ride that we are about to take. We want it to start now and never end. Maybe that's why we love vlogging so much. Whatever it is that makes train rides so amazing, we're going to really enjoy this one today as we travel to our next destination. Taking a train is like looking at a country's history, tradition, landscape, and people all at one time and since we're spending the next month taking a train through the countryside of thailand we see all of that and get to experience several cities along the way this really is a great time to be alive and a great time to explore thailand we knew we were going to love this adventure what we didn't know was how much we were going to love this adventure riding on a train through the beautiful countryside of thailand really made us feel a lot more appreciation for this country i think the only thing we regret is that we didn't have a chance to stop at every single one of the cities that we passed along the way because there was a lot of amazing ones that we did have to pass we hope you enjoy some of these scenes that we saw along the way. We're gonna play some music for you right now before we get to our stop.
and before you knew it, we're already arriving to our destination. Even though the train portion of this journey is done, there's a lot more of this city to see. So we're going to show you our first impressions right now. And then we've got another train ride coming up in a couple of videos. So stay tuned for that. We are now in Lampang and getting off the train, they actually have a map right here. Makes it so easy to figure out and where to Wi Fi. Oh, yeah. yeah, they have Wi Fi here too. Just right around the corner here is an information booth, and on the side, it's posted the Wi Fi for the station. So you can just use your phone here, get all the information. Eddie went ahead and downloaded the Google Maps for this area so that we can use that offline. We're being silly today. It's really nice that we were able to just get here and not have to miss a beat. This is what the map looks like. It's actually pretty detailed too. So if you look at it real close, they show things like 7-Eleven, tourist sites. They have public restrooms in some areas. We're right Way over here. down here. We're Right train there. station we just arrived so we're gonna walk into town this way as you walk here just a real quick left information desk which does include wi-fi looks like charging station as well We are going to be walking to the hotel. It's super close. It only takes us a half hour to get there, even if we took the long way. So the goal is to show you a little bit of the town as we go and kind of explore for ourselves just a little bit as we go so we can try and find a couple things for us to do while we're here. As if that'll be a hard thing to do. We gotta get out of the sun though. It is hot and sunny, so we're getting into the shade. That's better. And look what we found along the way. Bags of sticky rice. Sticky rice, cakes. Candies. Wow, that's like all kinds of fun things in this town. Right after we saw that, we came right over here and had to stop and get some food. Everything is in Thai though, but somebody actually speaks English. So we asked if they had Pad Thai, they do. We're getting two Pad Thais. We're really excited about trying it out, but they do things a little different. Look how they have this plate set up for us. So these are gonna be the veggies we just don't know how to make that work yet. Awesome, thank you so much. Wow, that smells so good, I can't even. So we asked. So we're gonna take some of these, break them up and put them in here. It's that simple. Cindy is digging in and she did the wrap. I didn't see chopsticks, so I'm just gonna eat this like this. Oh wow, this is, here's why you need to travel around Thailand. This is different than any Pad Thai we've ever had. So good. We're gonna dig in. This is the place that we're at right now. You can literally see the train station right down there. So we're really close. And then we had the Pad Thai. They have this, it's fried mussel in egg, which smells so amazing. Cindy's drooling right now and we just ate. We were passing by this alley and we just saw all this wall art. Had to get a real quick shot. There are a lot of restaurants along this way. We even have a library, check this out. Look how nice this library is. So far from what we're seeing of this town, we definitely like it here. And even though it's not as touristy as Chiang Mai is, or even as touristy as Chiang Rai is, we kind of feel like that's a good thing. We're definitely seeing a lot of really interesting places along this route. But we're almost to the hotel that we're staying at. It is definitely warm, tropical weather, middle of February. Highly recommended you be here this time of year. I cannot imagine how hot it would be in the summer, but it is really definitely tropical weather. Our first impressions <laughs> on this area is we're getting smiles and waves Very and people are friendly. being friendly. So we love this place so far. We're already loving it. Okay. We'll be showing you more tomorrow. And if you've made it this far, we really appreciate you and thank you so much. And stay tuned as we continue to travel around Thailand and the rest of the world. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.